Hello everyone, this is Pusillanimous Gamer, and welcome back to my single player let's play of Civilization V. As you know from last time, we just finished taking out Vienna from Austria, and it's time to take stock of where we are and try to get a good plan for the future. Because if you ask me, even with our win here, we're probably not in the best shape. Um, so, that said, we are in a full honor start where so basically we are in a position where we really want to be fighting to take advantage of our culture and gold and science gains from battle but we are so far behind that we really aren't in a position to be fighting anyone so what that said we really want to I think get our economy squared away as fast as possible meaning our science and our production especially um, we want to get our new cities in a position where we can um, first annex them and then take advantage uh, of any bonuses we get from taking them over with honor. And here we already have our courthouse, so that helps uh, Salzburg as well on the way to become a good city, but Vienna will be in resistance for quite a few turns. So as soon as that's done, we'll want to take over managing Vienna's um, production as well. We want to make sure we stay on top of our trade routes, so we want to get those up. We want to stay on top of trading with the AI. And I think for now we just want to be really careful about making anyone angry until we have built up enough of our army, even if we're a little bit behind, but at least where we can continue fighting. Okay, so with that said, Let's take care of our uh, little things right now. We're going to keep these these units fortified over here just in case Spain decides to turn back at me. She is planning on settling some new cities, it's the AI being the AI, yeah, the AI. So definitely at least one down here. And this settler right here is probably going somewhere in here. So with that said, I could try to block the uh, settler, but with the no quitters mod, the civilization or the sorry the citizen units, so the workers and settlers can actually move through opponents um, the military units, where in the vanilla game they cannot do it, so they're much less effective at being blocked, especially with open borders like this. So I could check when our open borders will run out ends on turn 122 so it's going to be a little while so there might not be much we can do as far as blocking the AI. I could try planting uh, a few units on these rough terrain tiles which could probably block um, block her fairly well. So actually yeah with that said let's move a few units up And just try to keep that settler from going anywhere. There's not much we can do about this one down here. We're going to move the great general to a safer position. And move this guy down here. Let's see, where was I going to put it? I think right here, probably. Which means I want to buy this tile just to make sure I have it. And then I'll plant that next turn. do want to keep a few units garrisoned around here and we'll probably want a road here just so that I can have better movement back and forth. And so with that we're going to just make sure everyone's kind of fortified for now where we want them. So we'll be shuffling these units around but for now we're just going to keep an eye on what happens. Get some of these tiles repaired grow this city as fast as we can. Um, we do want to make sure that we're managing all these tiles and growing. We have a decent amount of happiness. Uh, that will go away a little bit once we annex uh, Vienna, but that's something we'll worry about in six turns. And we set everything, we should be able to lock down these tiles. Okay, 
I know I said I want to grow, but working a good production tile over this kind of crappy tile would be pretty good. Although I could steal this nice horse tile. Vienna's not really going to use it anyway. And then with that said, I might as well steal this wheat as well. Vienna that will fix itself as it goes. As you saw that, I took away its food tiles, but it'll just adjust um, as it manages itself. Okay, money to Maria and Isabella. No, we don't have any extras of anything to trade here or here as well. So we'll just deal with, we'll just keep an eye on that, any trade agreements that might go away. Okay. So these might not be the most action heavy turns, but like I said, we're going to have to just make sure we get everything up as fast as possible. We do want to finish our science buildings here right away, and we'll probably want to start working our, our scientist uh, slots in the university as, as soon as possible as well. Okay, thank you, thank you for entrusting. Okay, he's happy because I voted for him to be the world leader. So anything to keep them happy, especially with a spy steal coming up. Ugh. Yeah, as you can see, I forgot, you know, the seller can even use our roads. Uh, so it's going to be a hard time keeping that seller contained. If I get into a position where I can build quite a few units fast enough, it might be worth if these uh, Spanish units are just kind of sitting around willy-nilly, uh, taking them out and uh, that, and just trying to get all that experience and um, the honor bonuses from them. We are in a pretty bad place as far as soldiers goes, next to last compared to Austria, who, as we know, is in a pretty bad position as it is. Um, so we would really need to get everything in shape before we think about that. Keep this guy growing. While we're at it, we might as well make sure we have our tiles locked down in these other cities, especially with this holy site. Um, this guy works here. Anything else that can be managed? We have a merchant in 14 turns, 45 turns, so we're not going to work. worry about working any my workshop slots for now. Um, this guy here can just keep growing. Still getting that in one turn, either way. And this guy's working the engineer, so. Gold crabbed Gandhi has ended. Could do we need the happiness? Uh, so we were trading for happiness. You know what? Uh, in the meantime, I think we're going to need that. Uh, finish? Nope, not quite finished that. So we'll have silver up to sell if we need it, but I think we're going to need that happiness boost. So we'll keep that going. We should be happy with that. Yep. Okay, like I said, we'll, we'll spend the one gold per turn just to have that road there in case I need to move units back and forth. This this guy can go down there and improve or repair that. Um, not 100% sure where that's being moved. But we'll do our best we can to keep it blocked. Let's see, upcoming session, Confucianism and banning marble, which we knew about. But the World Congress, probably because enough people entered a new era, we had the world leader vote, which postponed this vote here. So that'll happen in five turns. Uh, it'll be quite a while before we get a social policy 
We are going as fast as, I, as we can with our technology. We do want to get to industrialization and get our factories as soon as possible to get our um, uh, a social policy but our ideology. We can check and see if anyone has our ideology already. I don't believe any of them do. Honor, uh, aesthetic exploration. What I'm doing is looking right under their name. Um, you could see the technology technologies followed by any social policies that they have. And no, I don't think anyone has their ideologies yet. So that's good. Um, even though we are pretty far behind, uh, it could be that the AI is taking some non-optimal routes as far as that goes. With here, we need tenant influence to take over Milan from Portugal, four from uh, to take Mbaza Congo from the Ottomans, and quite a bit there. We are not gaining any with either Milan or Mbaza Congo, uh, so those trade routes uh, from patronage are not working quite yet because uh, we, we don't they're being sent elsewhere but I do think I'll spend a little bit of gold here um, even though they can buy them back right away we'll see if they actually spend that money not going to pledge to protect in case that we get any pledge to protect quests later especially let's see with uh, Assyria being a bully everywhere he goes your relationship yep uh, we're sorry this caused a divide we don't really want to step on anyone's toes oops there's a, a first ideology in India with freedom see if you look here now he has two freedom free pack passage no thank you Now if we look, we have 119 science, and after we build all our universities, that should shoot up quite a bit. Doesn't seem like Spain's doing anything really to the city up here. So we'll just see what happens. No idea what they're doing with that settler down here, but it looks like she might even try putting two cities down here that this extra settler is moving as well okay so only once ideology is India um, that is in the cultural overview um, okay actually with that I don't think anyone's gonna have enough influence Wow actually look at all that uh, 57 tourism already, so India might be making a play here. So if we go to India, look at how much influence they're having over everybody. Um, they're already familiar and exotic with a few people, familiar with us even. So we need to keep an eye on them. They're not anywhere near the Ottomans culture though. We're not having a very strong culture game, obviously. Um, but we'll work on that as we get up any... Uh, any of the uh, guilds and start working those slots but so we went up from 119 to 140 so 21 more science not including anything we might get from working on university slots so with that said we will be working those slots we can take off these production tiles we want to keep growing uh, we do want to work that science tile that uh, because now we have the universities the jungles now provide science and I'd, I think I'd rather have that over the extra production we want to work these specialists and so now as you can see that's shooting up pretty quickly here they, we'll keep that going until we get an engineer until then we'll just take off the low food uh, tiles. 
university. And then I'll switch that out later. Here. Still borrowing, so we'll just do that. Now up to 170. So that is a really big boost to our science. So with university finished, I need to uh, end with uh, scientists being built pretty quickly. I think I'm going to want a garden pretty soon for that bonus to great people if I'm working those slots anyway. Um, I'll also want an aqueduct to keep growing as fast as possible. And I'll want to consider caravans as well. So I think to begin with we'll go with an aqueduct. We're going to want to watch our happiness as well. Uh, but for now that's fine. I want to keep an eye on this too. Uh, faith from um, sorry, walls provide extra happy or faith, so that's something you might want to keep an eye on. We already have that wall there, though. Um, cathedrals, which we already have there. Gold production with the specialists and all buildings. Uh, purchase with faith provide tourism, so that's fine. And here we do we have a temple yet? No, we do not. So that would be a good bonus, and up until that switches over to Confucianism. So that should be a while though. Should be able to for pretty soon buy a prophet. These cities, I believe. But that won't be until the industrial era. You can see that it cut down quite a few turns with the boosted science. So, here are some of these tiles. That should give us an extra silver to trade away if we can. Let's see, here we can trade with Spain, or sorry, Portugal rather. Um, Syria we could trade with, but he's not going to give us anything. We could give some money to Gandhi as well, since he's friendly anyway. Yeah, so let's go with Gandhi. Get that gold return. And here, we could trade away our spices. We're probably getting that second spices from a city-state, but that's fine for now. As long as our happiness doesn't uh, decrease, and we're just fine getting that from the city-state. Not mean to do that. This guy here can move down here, though. Just playing the little shuffle here with settler. Okay. Yep, you're going to be a little upset that we're playing favorites here with the city-states. Ooh, did not notice that, so actually we're back to Catholicism, I believe in this city. Someone else getting an ideology, so we're going to be pretty behind in the ideology race. We won't get the extra bonuses uh, to being at first to an ideology, I believe. Order and freedom gone, so we might, there's, if no one wants aut autocracy, we might be able to get there, and that would pair pretty well with honor. Really surprised that Babylon doesn't have an ideology yet, though. Okay, so we said with this final text deal uh, from India, we are going to switch out after that. Even though it would be nine turns, we really don't want to upset them any further. We could go with, I'm guessing, either Babylon or the Ottomans. The Ottomans are in first, so let's just go with Babylon and try to steal some stuff there. If they have a spy in their capital, 
then it will take a lot longer, but we'll have to wait until our spy gets in place. So we'll see. Okay. Keep shuffling these units. All the while making sure that we have at least one unit in these cities. This one here will take over. Athens grew, so yep, want to work that really good tile. What else? Looks like this one here, we could stop from growing quite fast enough to, uh, with, we want to finish that aqueduct first. Uh, so we'll just take off those pure food tiles and try to grow that. I'm not 100% sure, sure if they go at the same time. Actually, this would finish before carrying over, so it would be worth just um, trying to ma micromanage this enough where we finish the aqueduct before actually growing, so that way we gain that boost to growth afterwards. And roads finished. We'll go down here and finish the farm. That's that. So I do apologize if this isn't quite as exciting as those combat filled turns. Uh, it might be a little bit boring, but that is civilization. You have, wow, modern already. You have uh, quite a bit of filler in between the excitement. They are finally doing some damage. Yep, let's be friends. So that city might, might be in trouble. And it looks up. Oh, uh, like Spain finally set, settled a city down here. So like I said, should probably try to settle another one right here. Just, just play around here, keeping it blocked. As long as we pay attention to the rough terrain, uh, and there's no re not really any place else it can go. It can move down here, we won't worry about that for now. I want to keep building these farms. And repairing tiles. Oh, I'm trying to click here, but that's not actually my worker. No wonder. <laughs> okay, so we finished that cargo ship, so that is going to be sent to a city state. So right now we have one going to Kathmandu and Leventa, so this one should go to Panama City. Once again, giving us those patronage boosts to city-state trade routes. And I think we'll want to get one up, a uh, caravan up here in Sparta so that we can get those boosts there as well. We're not going to worry about giving those boosts to Vienna and Salzburg quite yet. Um, still a couple turns of resistance here. Wonder. It's actually pretty far up the exploration type side of all the way up here. So that's not really a path that you see players going uh, going on till later. Um, but it is interesting that it does lead to oil. So as far as uh, the plane units go as far as the land ships and the advanced naval units go. Uh, uh, I'm guessing that's just the AI going there for the tourism and culture. Don't think anyone is going rationalism, which is good, because uh, that would be the one threat to really 
uh, putting them too far ahead as far as science goes. We're doing our best as we can to catch up. Uh, we will want to go with put some tech into an ideology and we uh, might want to put some of those techs in here, but we'll also want to really pay attention to rationalism as well. Our work boat finished that we had queued. So we have an extra crab. Uh, we can trade that away here. Bons dias. Soltado ouvidos. We are giving them extra happiness, so allowing them to grow higher, but we do want that uh, gold for ourselves as well. Um, now, let's see. I think if we get our caravan up in one turn here that we can use for Sparta, and after that, I'm really going to want um, our guilds don't think we really have enough growth to do that yet though so let's get an aqueduct up here followed by some happiness buildings and then we'll worry about our guilds after we get some extra population don't want to send these guys too far down in case we need them up here, but for now, it's fine. Send this guy back here. Although, with this, this is the guy that we want to protect. He is our logistics uh, scout archer, so you know what, actually we'll just keep him back. Just protect them. Keep an eye on our demographics. We are still in last down here. Pretty far behind up here as well. It does look like Spain will be taking down that city. Glitch. Wow, that is quite a lot of gold saved up by the AI, uh, so that's pretty scary as well. Especially for a player with probably nearly the top army right behind Spain. Um, I don't know if he's actually at war with anyone. Nope. So it would be good if they actually were fighting each other, but I don't know if there's really much that can be done. We could try... Saludos. Uh, seeing if the AI wants to attack each other, but I really don't think that's going to be something that they're going to go for right now. Uh, actually, we could set those two against each other. 3 gold per turn and 12 gold, that's not too bad, and some iron. You know what, let's see if anything will come out of that. They are neighbors. Um, just let them kind of waste their resources against each other. That won't really help with the Ottomans and Babylon as far as their science goes. The Ottomans might want to get involved in that war as well though. Especially they're, they all really don't like uh, Eshbanapel anyway. No way to make that work. Okay. And let's see. <clears throat> Babylon and India. Babylon might be I in India as it is. Minuterish. Five gold per turn. Uh, that luxury God. resources though, I cannot give up. That would make me unhappy. Okay. Growth in these cities. Are we there yet? We are. So we can finally annex city. It will make me temporarily unhappy, but I think I am fine with that. It already has its university up. And let's see. We want to get up that courthouse as soon as possible, followed by a monument, then I think a coliseum. And as soon as we get those calls, all our coliseums in all our cities, we can get our national uh, happiness wonder. But there, actually, there isn't much point in doing any specifically growth heavy tiles 
other than just keeping us fed. Uh, and not starve. And go there and stagnate. We're just gonna focus on our production here. Not worry about these gold tiles. And with that said, let's make sure to take off some of this food. Thing is, we are not growing anyway. Uh, how long enough for immersion? Um, I did not mean to finish that crossbowman, our circus, and but we could work our stoneworks as well. And this does not have that. Oh, this does have a temple bonus. So we might as well go with that too. Finished our aqueduct, so we do want to grow here. As soon as we are happy again, we'll do that, which will be next turn with the circus. So you know what? We'll just do that for now. Um, let's see. We do want to get culture buildings up. We do want to get. Let's get that garden. Uh, we might end up working one of our guilds in the city as well. So having that garden up now would be pretty good too. Confucianism and banning marble. I think. As far as Confucianism goes, if we get it, we get it. That would be nice. If we don't, I don't really care. Actually, Confucianism is that one. I, I'm sorry. I keep com confusing Hinduism and Confucianism. So we don't really want them getting that. Um, but I really don't want Marble Band as well. So I think there are enough AI with other um, their own religions that I don't... I. I don't think they're going to pass Confucianism, so for now we'll just ban that. Meanwhile, our shuffle game here. Keep repairing and improving tiles. Sparta. And we have a general here. Let's keep there in the city for now. That popped out because we uh, made our caravan, but it can stay there for now. Go back. Other. See if they finish off here, they might. We'll be fine if they take that city, but then we really want them to fight each other. Okay, so we'll roll over this turn, and I think that will be the end of the episode. In particular, watching what happens with the AI here. Just shuffling around, not really going towards Spain. And Spain did take the city. We'll see. I doubt they're going to push up into Linz. Uh, they'll probably need to focus on um, Assyria, but who knows with the AI. Are there any honor? So Assyria is also going honor. Ottomans have a touch of honor. But really, I'm the only one taking full advantage of fighting, so we, we don't really want him, if he gets full honor, to be at war, because then he'll be gaining all those bonuses. But we're fine with things as they are for now. Okay. So with that, I think I'm going to end this episode right there. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.